Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio, and today is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet release day. The TCG is out today, and we've got some things to open. One of my Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes has arrived. Only one, sadly, that the Coridon one is, it's on the way, the Coridon one is here, with the LeChonk promo. And, as if that isn't good enough, the lovely folks at the Pokemon Company sent me a booster bundle. Also, I, I fixed the um, I fixed the focus issue that we had in the previous video. Much better now. Spent some time tinkering. So, shout out to the lovely folks over at the Pokemon Company International who sent us a booster bundle. Why? Not entirely sure. They, they were just nice people. You know, they, they, they sent me an email and they're like, hey, do you want, um, do you want to have a present to celebrate the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I was like, yeah, obviously. That sounds like fun. And then they sent me this, which I thought was very cool of them. How lovely. So yeah, shout out to them for being awesome people. So let's start off with the booster bundle, and then we'll open the Elite Trainer Box. I've never actually opened a booster bundle before. So I am very excited to see what wonders can be found within. Uh, it's six packs. I've, I've always said with the booster bundle, it is six packs for the cost of six packs. Simple as that. Uh, I found out today, actually, I should have known this beforehand, frankly. Apparently, the booster bundle is only available at the Pokemon Center and Amazon. That's what the little card they sent me says, only available in those two places. So, let's get rolling with some Scarlet and Violet. Of course, I have opened a couple of Build and Battle boxes on the channel. And I have opened an Elite Trainer box. So now we've got release day openings. Oh, this is so much better. I was stressing out the other day. Look how good the camera is working now. Bombardier. Bombardier, sorry. Still, still, I still got to say, oh my word. Let's talk about that later. I need a reverse holo Okachekes. That is the Tatsugiri reverse holo, and I love it. Rev holo is a Viper, and a holo Arbeliever. So we, we did the other day, with weird, right? When we opened our um, Elite Trainer Box the other day, we ended up in this weird situation where we did really well in terms of an artwork or an illustration rare and a special illustration rare. But then all nine packs just had hollow rares in. Because, of course, the way the, the, it has been reconfigured nowadays is that in every pack you get yourself two reverse hollows and a hollow rare or better. And then you've got the Paldean Gallery, which is your illustration rares and your special illustration rares. They are essentially in one of the reverse hollow slots. So you can basically get, you know, cool stuff. There's the Stone Journey, Yuki Mori, I like that. There's your Penny, there's your Quaxwell, Rev Hollow Growlithe, Rev Hollow Dedene, and a Hollow Rare Rev of Room. Very good card, incidentally, that Rev of Room. Um, discard a card from your hand, search and, uh, energy card, I should say, and then draw until you've got six cards in your hand. Very, very cool card. There's an argument it's better than Bibarel, because Bibarel draws until you've got five, but Bibarel, you don't have to discard an energy card from your hand. Whereas, obviously, with Rev of Room, you do. I'll let you be the judge of that. There's Tandem House, one of the cool new ones. Beach Court, great stadium, great Kato artwork. Love that one. We got Rev Follow Cacturn and Rev Follow Scatterbug and Don Dozo. Now, this is definitely, definitely. A deck I'm going to be having to play around with. It is an extremely cool card. Uh, for anyone keeping count, that is three of the six packs. And we're still sitting at Hollow Rares. Nothing but a Hollow Rares. Now, my my luck from those slots has been... Like, the Hollow slot has been very poor so far. But I've been doing pretty well with Illustration Rares. So, you know, got a special Illustration Rare Armored at the launch event the other day. And I got myself... Obviously, the uh, the Spy Dots from the Elite Trainer Box. And we've got Hollow Rare Maridon. So there's four for four Hollow Rares. And this is my one concern with the new Scarlet and Violet set. Now, let's be clear. Even here, like even in the packs where you're just getting a Hollow Rare, you're still getting two Reverse Hollows and a Hollow Rare, which is way better than it was before. But, and I think it might be me, because other people seem to hit at a far better rate than I. But I do have a habit of, you know, before Scarlet and Violet, I would have pack after pack after pack of just hollow uh, non-hollow rares. We seem to be doing the same thing now with hollow rares. So there's Tarantula and Flowet. Oh, that's a nice start. 
That's a very nice start. We've got ourselves the Terra EX Gyarados. Of course, the new Terra EX, as you can see, the foiling there quite nicely. And the texture and all of that good stuff. Okay, someone's listening. I'm sitting here complaining I'm only pulling hollow rares. Where's my things better than a hollow rare? Out comes Gyarados. Nice. Okay, one pack left. Let's see if we got any last pack magic. By last pack magic, I mean last pack from the booster bundle. Because, of course, we've still got the entire Elite Trainer box to go. Wouldn't mind an illustration rare. Seems like that's about the right time. There is a Lechonk. Lechonk getting a lot of love lately. There's your Cyclozar and Vitality Band reprint. There's your Toxtricity, Capsicid and Tandem House Rev Hollows. And then just a Hollow Maridom. So not, not great from the booster bundle. We end our final tally is five Hollow Rares, one EX or Terror EX. And no Paldean Gallery cards. Okay. Good news is, we've got ourselves an Elite Trainer box as well. And on this channel, I've said this before, I'm very honest with you lovely ladies and gentlemen. What that means is, if I tell you a product is good and I'm going to buy it, I'll buy it. If I tell you a product is not very good and I don't really like it, I ain't buying it. I told you, when, when these were revealed, these Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer boxes, I told you I would be pre-ordering them. I did. My Paldea Evolved pre-order is already out. As I've already made the pre-order for that. Uh, there is the player's guide. It is exactly the same as the one I got the other day from the regular Elite Trainer box. And, you know, we, we've seen this before. It's got some information about the set, and then it's got a card gallery of all the cards. And then we've even got the nice little promo section at the end. Lovely. So, okay. So let's actually get into this. Now, one big change that we've seen from previously is that all of the counters and stuff are the same. So the dice, I believe, are the same. The poison and burn counters, which are new, incidentally, as you can see, these are all the same. Exactly the same, whether you buy the Pokemon Center exclusive or the regular, they are the same. Oh, that's lovely. I like that. I'll tell you what I'm talking about in just a moment. Um, and then you've got the sleeves, which are the same as the sleeves in the other one. And you've got the energy, which is the same as the energy. We looked at these when we did an opening the other day. We don't need to go into too much detail. What we do need to talk about, however, as I'm getting just completely bowled under with stuff, what we do need to talk about are the promos. And they are individually packaged. That's what I was looking for. So we've got the lovely Maridon promo here, individually packaged. We've got a regular, no, wait, a regular, there we go, and a Pokemon Center exclusive. And you'll notice it's got the stamp. Nice. Got three of them now, two regular, one Pokemon Center exclusive. And it's very much like the LeChonk, which is stamped. Um, I was going to say, the LeChonk can't have gone far. And you'll notice that stamp-wise, they're basically the same in terms of the LeChonk and the Maridon. Same lovely stamp. Different place, same lovely stamp. So, we did not great out of the um, booster bundle. But the good news is we've got 11 packs here to try and do a little bit better. So, let's get rolling, shall we? Obviously, we've got this lovely Gen 9 Pokemon. First Gen 9 set, so a big Gen... Not entirely Gen 9, this is a great card. Accelerating Lightning Energy to Lightning Pokemon. We've got Rev Hollow Skeledurge, Rev Hollow Dashburn, and a Houndstone. I do really like that Houndstone, incidentally. That is the one that does 80 damage, plus 10 Freak Psychic Pokemon in your discard pile. It takes too long to get up to really good damage, so I do think it is going to be more of a gimmick than an actual really good deck. But still, it's pretty cool. There's your Mankey. Could have done one, none of those that I pre-released the other day. Lovely Kato Squawkabilly. There's your Ultra Ball. There's the one I can't pronounce nicely. There's your Arvin, Rev Hollow Staravia, and Nimona. And a Hollow Quaquavel. So we are kind of carrying on as we started. So far, we have opened eight packs. And we have had seven packs with Hollow Rares. One with a Terra EX. And... Nothing, nothing better than that. No Paldean Gallery, nothing above a double rare. Come on, let's start getting some good cards, shall we? That would be lovely. There's Florges, Revol. Oh, Revol in Nest Ball's kind of cool. 
I mean, the good news is I'm now at a play set of Klefki. And Klefki is a great card. That is the one where if it's in the active, your opponent's Pokemon have no abilities. Oh, sorry. Basic Pokemon have no abilities. It's a very cool card. But I've got enough of it now. What would be really lovely is if we could start getting some hits. Seriously, we're up to like nine packs so far. We've had no Paldean Gallery and one thing better than a Hollow Rare. Red Hollow Halucha I like. Oh my goodness. And then we got Clawth. And to be fair, Clawth is not a good card. Like really not a good card. It's cool. I like Clawth as a Pokemon, but that is not a good card. So, our, our pulls so far have been, um, well, terrible, frankly. I think that's fair to say. Yes, we've opened 10 packs so far. we got nothing in the Paldean Gallery and one card better than a Hollow. We've still got a few to open, which is nice. But from our first 10 packs, our pulls have been pretty terrible. Come on, let's start getting something better. Because this is not going well so far. There's your dash burn. Hey, Red Hollow Klefki. That'll do, pig. That'll do. And there's your poor Mott Rare. Okay. Well, I was asking for a good pull, ladies and gentlemen, and we went and got it. A special illustration rare, Coridon. Oh, that is a beautiful card, ladies and gentlemen. A very, very beautiful card indeed. Nice. Okay, that'll do. That is a wonderful card. Okay. Ah, that helps. And we got six packs remaining. So, from the first five packs of our Elite Trainer Box, we got nothing. Again, we still only got one card better than a rare in the rare slot. But I think pulling that Coridon has absolutely helped. Okay, there's your Rare Candy. There's your Fido. There's your Defiance Band. There's your Driftblim. There's your Nest Ball. Rev Hollow Mabastiff. Oh, okay. Now we're rolling. Still cannot pull anything but a Hollow from the Hollow slot. And the the, uh, the centering here is not great left to right. But look at that wonderful Clauncher. That is a bootyful card, ladies and gentlemen. A very bootyful card indeed. Nice. Okay. That'll do. That'll do quite nicely. Okay. So the Pardean Gallery is helping us out a little bit here. Which is lovely. Go team. Right. How many have we got left? Five packs left. We have still got a few packs to open. Last couple of packs, things are starting up again. The, um, the Paldean Gallery is helping out quite nicely. Oh, I love that Kuramitsu Shroomish. There's your Char Cadet. There's your Torkoal. There's your Oinkalone. Smoliv and a Shuppet. Oh, we're back, unfortunately. We're back to the two Rev Hollows. And just Hollow Rares. Never mind. The, to be honest with you, the Coriden alone has made this box worth it. The Gryden alone has made me glad. And to be fair, right, we got the Maridon promos. So you get the two Maridon promos. You add in the special illustration rare Gryden. The box is worth it straight off the bat with those. But come on, we've got a few packs left. And it would be lovely to start hitting stuff in the rare slot. So there's your Rev Hollows. And in the rare slot, hey, speaking of Oinkalone, we've got ourselves an Oinkalone EX. They are a bit more muted than the Japanese EXs. I've opened a bunch of those, the Japanese EXs, I mean. They're cool. But that's nice. That is only the second pack where we've hit something other than a rare, hollow rare in the rare slot. And what are we on now? So we've got, so we were seven, so we're 14 packs in. 14 packs in, we finally hit something, a second thing other than a rare. Opening one in seven is the average right now. But again, we got the Coridon. That basically eliminates any complaining we may otherwise have done. Hard to complain when you hit that Coridon. It's not the Maridon, but it's still a very cool card. So there's your Houndour and your Buizel. And we get... Oh. Regular Coridon. Okay. Nice. We got the Maridon. I suppose it's only fair we get the Coridon there. Okay. We've only got two packs left. So we're currently hitting two EXs. One Terra. One Illustration Rare and one Special Illustration Rare. Or Okacheke Drowsy, big fan. Don't like Drowsy as a Pokemon, I'll be honest with you. But I love anything that Okacheke does. Makes me very, very happy indeed. So there's your Rev Hollow Pormi. Rev Hollow Zangoose. Ah, yeah, Hollow Rare Skeledurge. Right. One 
One more pack. One more pack to go and then we are done. Right, so we've currently had four kind of hits out of 16 packs. Let's see if we can get something else going here. So there's your little chunk. Something lovely here would be, well, lovely. There's your Crocodile. There's your Flamigo. Love the name of that one. We got ourselves Rev Hollow Toad School. Rev Hollow Skiddo. That's kind of Hollow Annihilate. All right. So numbers wise, that was pretty poor. In 17 packs, we got 15 Hollow Rares and two EXs. Nothing above an EX, which is a little bit sad. But then we did get the Special Illustration Rare Coridon and the Illustration Rare Launcher, which, which it helped out quite a lot. It's one of those openings that like, out of 17 packs, you would like better. But because we hit the Coridon, everything kind of looks a lot nicer, to be honest with you. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I need to tell you. So now it's over to you guys. Did you manage to open any Scarlet and Violet on release day? What did you open? How did you find it? Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then, usual deal, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Release Day! PTCG Radio. Bye!